It's harvest time in Denny Colwell's prized ginseng patch. That is not too bad. You can see a couple of berries on there. He spent decades in the forest, tending to a plant that's highly sought after in Asia. I love it noise to begin with. It's the way my granddad's always done it. I'm carrying on the tradition. I like the quality that I get by forest grown. Experts say forest growers like Colwell could help conserve wild populations of American ginseng, which has been over harvested and threatened by poaching and habitat loss. We want more and more people to feel comfortable with growing this plant. The future is in conservation through cultivation. Penn State University plant researcher Eric Burkhart is helping recruit growers into a new program for forest-grown ginseng. Most American ginseng is mass-produced on farms in Wisconsin. The more that we can get people growing it on forest lands, the more we can not only conserve the species, but we provide people with an economic income opportunity that is something more than timber. Exports to China account for most U.S. production. Roots are worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars a pound. When I dig a root, then I always just plant the berries around it. But Randy Yenzi says growing the plant isn't as easy as throwing some seed in the ground. Forest farmers often wait at least 10 years before harvesting because older roots are more valuable. If you want to make it quick, don't even start planting ginseng because you're, there's no way making quick money in this game. Poachers are Denny Colwell's biggest concern. I'm looking for holes in the ground where there would have been a plant like right there. He estimates he's lost tens of thousands of dollars to theft. Surveillance cameras installed on his property caught this poacher in the act. The poaching is a major problem for any grower of any size, even growers that aren't of any size. People are looking for it and if they find it, they don't care that it's not theirs. Any ginseng he doesn't harvest is weed whacked to the ground, hidden from thieves to grow another year. Backers say the new labeling program could help grow demand in the United States, betting that conscientious consumers will pay a premium for forest-grown ginseng. Put it right in the bucket. Not a bad route. Michael Rubenkam, Associated Press.